Um, a question regarding the AOC. Every AOC issued by Civil Aviation Authority is only valid for one year, um, which after it needs an inspection and a reissue. The CA, CA, AOC that was issued to Kashugu uh, by the Civil Aviation Authority is therefore valid until the end of February, where a reinspection and a reissue will take place. The reason is that there are two different departments in the Civil Aviation Authority that issue fixed wing AOCs and helicopter, helicopter AOCs, and one inspector cannot do inspection for both um, these divisions, and therefore CAA sends an inspecting team for fixed wings and an inspection team for the helicopters, and they get issued separately. Once the helicopter AOC has been issued, uh, the helicopters need to go through a certificate of airworthiness process. Once they've received those certificates, they need to be replaced on that AOC. So we're busy with getting all the helicopters recertified. The AOC will be issued shortly the, uh, in the first or second week in December, and after that, the aircraft will replace. So we aiming at the middle of uh, December that all the air helicopters will be operational on our own AOC. Uh, the number of aircraft in the aviation fleet is entirely and totally dependent on what is required by our customers. At this stage, uh, working on fire has got a big percentage of the resources we supply to working on fire. The balance of the resources depends on the forestry industry, FPAs, and disaster management agencies that require resources and we purchase and expand on our fleet depending on the customer requirements. Um, the main reasons for the AOCs being suspended and the aircraft being grounded, the helicopters specifically being grounded, was that we had a few serious and major incidents within the aviation division where people lost their lives. And on investigation by CAA, they found that the record keeping, the administration, and the management capacity wasn't sufficient according to their requirements, and they suspended our AOCs and grounded the aircraft until we could have proved that we uh, increased the capacity and used better record keeping to keep track of the, the serviceability of our aircraft. No employee's job was in jeopardy due to the suspension of the AOCs or the grounding of the helicopters. And we don't foresee that anybody's jobs will be in jeopardy going forward as we are planning uh, a growth and expansion of our aerial firefighting operators going forward. 